What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. I've been excited to talk about this because I want everyone to know the origin of head coach T.C. Taylor. And a lot of folks did not know that Jackson State alumnus Jerry Mack gave him an opportunity back in 2014 to become the offensive coordinator slash QB coach. And during Jerry Mack's year at North Carolina Central, he was 31 and 15, tied the MEAC in conference play in 14 and 15, and then went to the Celebration Bowl in 2016 where they lost to Grambling State. So he had an impressive record in everything he taught T.C. Taylor. You all will see this season. In my opinion, Jackson State will have a balanced offensive approach. With more physicality in both offensive and defensive lines. If you look at recruiting. T.C. Taylor is recruiting size like MEAC teams look like. And let's be honest, I know. The SWAC and MEAC kind of go at it at times about who's the best conference. But if we're objectively looking at teams with size, strength, and grit, there are a ton of teams in the MEAC that has it. Not to say that the SWAC doesn't, but Jackson State will look like somewhat of a MEAC team. They will be a physical team. You will see it against South Carolina State. Jackson State now looks like a team that when they step off the bus, you say to yourself, damn, it's going to be a long day. Now, am I saying is Jackson State going undefeated? It's too early to tell. Or if they will win a swack, like I said, everything will be answered in the fall. But Jerry Mack, he's been a winner. And everything he taught T.C. Taylor how to schedule things as a coach, uh, strength and conditioning, setting up programs, camps to recruit high school talent, all those things were taught by brother Jerry Mack. And Jerry Mack, he paid his dues. If you look at his coaching career, before he became the head coach of North Carolina Central, he was a GA at Delta State and then a wide receiver coach at Jackson State and then at Central Arkansas, wide receiver coach. And then in 2010, Jerry Mack was a OC quarterback coach in Arkansas Pine Bluff. And then in Memphis, he was a wide receiver coach in South Alabama 2012 and 2013. He was a wide receiver coach. And then in 2014 to 17, he was a head coach of North Carolina Central. And he went back into the FBS ranks to Rice right there in H-Town to become a offensive coordinator quarterback coach. And then a respected running back coach for the Tennessee Volunteers. He's recruiting at a high level. So if you look at this brother's resume, he's done it at all levels, and he's earned everything. Now back to T.C. Taylor. When he played for the New England Patriots in 2002 and 2003, he played there for two years, and then he went overseas, uh, NFL Europe at the time, and then in 2003, played for the Detroit Lions. And then he had an injury. And that injury forced him to retire early. And then he went to the coaching ranks. Here's what I talk about earning your way to the top. Nothing was given to T.C. Taylor. At the beginning of his coaching career, T.C. Taylor had to go to uh, the junior college route in 2005 until he got called in 2012 to Texas Southern to be the wide receiver coach. So that took T.C. Taylor seven years to become a positional coach at a uh, 
Division One level because it's FCS, Texas Southern. Seven years. That's dedication. A lot of people would have given up, but not T.C. Taylor. And then in 2014, Jerry Mack gave him a great position to become the quarterback coach. And then in 2015, 16, and 17, he not only, meaning T.C. Taylor, not only was named the um, quarterback coach, but offensive coordinator. He started out out as a co-offensive coordinator and became the main offensive coordinator around 2017. And then in 2019, he was hired uh, by Jackson State to become their wide receiver tight end coach. And in 2020, he was an interim offensive uh, coordinator. And then he was an offensive coordinator in the both 2021-2022 season, as we all know, as well as wide receiver coach. Um, and then moved back to wide receiver coach in 2022. Uh, they hired Brett Bartolone, things we know, and now the head coach of Jackson State. I'm so glad that Jackson State hired T.C. Taylor because they hired a hard worker. Nothing was given to him. He's earned everything. And he's recruiting at a high level. And a lot of people before, not before, but during the time that T.C. Taylor was hired, there was a lot of naysayers, haters, and shines who were saying, how is he going to recruit and all this bullshit. You're seeing now he's still recruiting at a high level. You don't have to be all in the videos to do, and this is not a shot, this is just keeping it real. You don't have to be all in the videos. You can recruit. If you can recruit and do things your way, you don't have to do it like the predecessor. You can do it your own way. As long as you recruit, you can be silent the whole time. <laughs> as long as you can recruit and recruit at a, at a high level and doing it well, you could do the things your way. But I just wanted y'all to get a little history lesson. Jerry Mack was the one to give T.C. Taylor, head coach T.C. Taylor, that is, his opportunity. A JSU alum helping out another JSU alum. That's how T.C. Taylor became the coach that he is now. And I'm expecting a great season from Jackson State. Uh, I want y'all to do a, f- a little favor for me in the comment section. Tell me what record you think Jackson State will have. I want to hear everyone's opinion. Be respectful, of course. No buffoonery, of course. This is Raw Truth Media. And if you want me to talk about certain topics, hit me up on Twitter at DJ Raw Truth Media. Uh, Let me know what videos you want me to talk about. But I had fun making this video, doing my research. And shout out to everyone that supports this channel. This is Raw Truth Media, and I'm out.